it's Danisha and since today is a gloomy day and I'm still stuck after my last attempt of painting, we are going to take some time to browse for all art and learn from the masters. If you've seen my last painting video, you would remember this painting with the big cross over it and I've spent the past week seeing and thinking about it and I've decided to not make one of my own painting this time but instead do a master study. And since I've been struggling with my brushstroke and I've been making them look too stiff, I've decided to paint one of Van Gogh's painting and hopefully learn from his style and lose brushstrokes. I did not speak to the camera yesterday. I just wanted to focus on looking at all artworks and the art books to get some inspiration. But today is a fresh new day and we already know what I'm gonna paint, so let's just get to it. I've been having a lot of fun dressing up on the weekends because I can't really do it during my 9 to 5 job so the weekend is where I get to express myself and have a lot of fun. After priming, I decided to add an undercoat before starting the painting as it should not only help with the painting process but I also kind of wanted some of the background to show within my loose brush strokes and as you've been hearing, I am talking a lot about brush stroke today because I think I have become a bit rigid in my hand movements and I've been trying too hard to make my paintings look like a picture when instead, when I look at other art, I gravitate more towards the one that show brush strokes and bring in a whole mood through them. I want to be able to learn from other artists as well and yes, it will be me copying a painting but this painting will be for me and only me to have fun, enjoy having fun with the colors and try to learn how the old masters did it. And then I'm hoping I can take some of the learnings I get from this painting to implement in my own. And the reason I chose Van Gogh's painting while browsing through the books is because I've always loved the way the colors were spread on the canvas and also I did go to one of the Van Gogh's immersive exhibition and it was an absolute dream so I couldn't help but try to create a little piece of that dream for myself and hopefully by the end I'm able to get out of my mini art block that I think I have.
I hope you enjoy a glimpse of this little picnic date that I prepared. It's just I have to enjoy the random sunny days as they come in Seattle and also try to enjoy the little moments and take a break. So I would definitely suggest you to also take a break when needed and do something different so your brain can rest on the current tasks you have to work on. It doesn't have to be extra. It can be in your own backyard, terrace or room even. I'm sure you can get creative on what you can do. And as for the painting, I realized that I was still taking my own rigid brush strokes into the beginning part of the painting and in the end I was actually able to loosen up. So if you look carefully, you'll be able to see the movements in the grass section but not as much in the sky. I was gonna correct it but I decided not to as I wanted to keep this painting as a reminder that there's always something to learn and my previous painting allowed me to do this one which I really enjoy by the end of it. I was finally happy and at peace and ready to work on my own painting next. Thank you so much for being here and I will see you in the next one. Happy painting my friends!